turning now to a story you will only see right here on NBC Montana. Sexual assault allegations being exposed at Glacier High School. But that's just part of what we found in this troubling story as we dug deeper searching for answers. Dominic Vidiello is working for you finding out what's really going on in the Flathead Valley. You won't find a bigger Glacier High wrestling booster than Kirk. My son, he's a wrestler. You can find Kirk at every match, but when a teammate opened up to him about an incident from the past, things changed. He started to explain what happened to him, and I, I about hit the floor. I mean, it was pretty shocking what he said. Here's what we found when we scanned through this five-page lawsuit. Wrestlers and their parents suing the school district, the head wrestling coach, and seven unnamed wrestling team members. They claim the seven teens sexually assaulted other team members. The document claims the assaults happened on team buses and during hotel stays, some stretching back a year. This lawsuit highlights these assaults as hazing tradition and a culture of negligence. Kirk remembers what another student told his son. One of his friends had told him that uh, uh, to be very careful on the varsity bus if he was to make varsity because there was hazing going on and uh, he was real vague about it. But he started digging and found something he never expected. I was concerned. I mean, it was just a uh, concern for him and, and knowing that what was happening on that varsity bus, all it could r run through my head is how many kids this happened to. I wanted to find out more. Turns out the Kalispell Police Department opened an investigation, but couldn't answer many of my questions. Can you give me a solid number on how many kids are part of this investigation? Or throughout the investigation, I guess, or if more names come up, we're interviewing those too, so I can't give you a solid number on how many were involved. I attempted to call District Superintendent Micah Hill, but was told his calendar was full. Next, I went to the school district offices, but the superintendent would not see me. I sent a total of five emails to both the school district Title IX investigator and District Superintendent Hill. On our list of questions for Hill, how many alleged victims there are, whether parents should feel safe putting their kids in school sports, and how something like this can happen with coaches and staff present. After my last email, Hill replied. Here's what he said. We look forward to a swift resolution to the matter and keeping kids safe, and that the district is working with law enforcement. I got a similar response from State Superintendent of Schools, Elsie Arnson. In this email, her office told me they are aware of the investigation but chose not to comment. But that doesn't cut it for the parents I've talked with. When we started this investigation, I had no idea how many parents would contact me. One showed me a video of an alleged sexual assault in a hotel room. It's too graphic to show on air. And most don't want to talk publicly so they can protect their children's identity. It hurts to know that our kids are supposed to be the safest at school and that this is happening at school and that the adults are not doing what they need to do to protect the kids at school and school functions. And this is not Glacier High's first incident to happening on a sports team. We did notice a change in his behavior. He, he did not want to compete. He used to go to the AAU and USA tournaments after the high school season and, and before that, uh, that go most of the year round, and he stopped doing that and did not want to go there because these kids are part of that also. His exact words were, I don't want to compete for this coach that allowed this to happen. Some parents are calling for student safety and well-being to be put over sports accolades and titles, wanting the perpetrators off the Glacier High School senior wrestling team. Others want to see a complete overhaul of the athletic administration and wrestling staff, claiming this is not the first time this has happened on this school administration's watch. When you send these your kids out with these people and expect for them to have the best interest, you know, their best interest at heart. And it's just not always that way. The district canceled my scheduled interview with Glacier Wrestling coach Ross Dankers. I'll continue to follow this story and deliver new developments. Reporting in Missoula, Dominic Vidiello, NBC Montana.